What up, HyperChange? What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. We've got some breaking Tesla news this Friday afternoon. Um, Elon Musk has just gone on a tweet thread updating us on Tesla's full self-driving software. The price has increased from ten to $12,000. Wanted to go through this news and give you some brief insight onto my thoughts about being in the FSD beta program and all that stuff. But this is the tweet thread that just broke from Elon. Tesla's FSD, this is less than an hour old. Um, you have about a month, it looks like, to order, or no, two weeks. Uh, or less to order FSD about 10 days before the price is going to go up by $2,000. And this is to purchase, um, this is a really, really interesting software feature because uh, this is what we're talking about here. For $10,000, this is Tesla's website today, you can add on a self-driving package that basically has no features today, except this feature you're watching right now, Auto Park, is really the only one that I use all the time. Um, but this software, the main value of this FSD beta software or the FSD package is that the car will drive itself in the future. You own in perpetuity the right to all of Tesla's software updates in the future. So Tesla pushes these over the air updates that increase your car's functionality. The theory is eventually you'll have a robo taxi that could generate hundreds of thousands of dollars from this software, which you're buying today for 10,000, soon 12,000. And so Tesla's theory is as they get closer to completing the self-driving car, they will raise the price. And that's what Elon is saying here. FSD price will rise as we get closer uh, to FSD production code release. And so I've been a huge proponent of this. This is a big reason Tesla stock is worth every uh, more than every other auto company combined is because they have a $12,000 software option on their car that is literally more than the entire other profit on the whole vehicle. They're going to sell a $40,000 car, make, you know, eight to $10,000 on the hardware, but they can make another 10 to 12 on the software. So this is a key piece of the financial puzzle for Tesla's valuation to be higher and really be a computer company selling software, uh, not just a hardware company. So this is huge news. If you wanna uh, lock in your $10,000 FSD, you can order it in the next 10 days. Get your order in now, tesla.com. Um, but I kind of wanted to give my thoughts on this because I've been testing testing the FSD program uh, for a while. And in my last live stream, I was a little bit bearish. So um, to, to take a step back, I've been on Tesla's full self-driving beta program for about a year now. Um, and I got it on my 2020 Model Y. I'm based here in Seattle. And so Seattle, like downtown urban Seattle, super tiny streets, a lot of streets, which are two ways, but um, they'll have like one, like it's really only enough room for one car, but cars can go both ways. There's cars parked on both sides. There's roundabouts. Like it is a really complicated, weird city if you've been watching my FSD videos. And so I kind of wanted to just, and this is tricky because I don't like, like I hate, I don't want to criticize Tesla and I'm like FSD beta is such an amazing piece of software. Like it's such a bold, ambitious goal. And um, it's incredible when you use it, like as a science project, I'm fascinated by it, but as a product that I bought and something that I've been waiting to see the progress on, like I've been disappointed. Like the, the driver in me, like I'm a cautious driver, like doesn't use FSD beta. Like I use it to make videos. I use it to show my friends, but recently, um, like I don't use it when I'm driving just because I've gotten so frustrated with the amount of disengagements. Like it's just kind of like you're watching a teen driver and then you take over. Um, and I guess it's fun if you're training it, it's cool to try it as like an experiment, but like when I'm getting somewhere and I'm late and it's pouring rain and I don't want to deal with, you know, it doing something dumb and then me having to correct it. Um, I just have found myself driving everywhere. So I don't know if that's like valid, but I, but I, oh, whoops. Uh, but I kind of wanted to just like, you know, explain explain this from a consumer perspective and say as a cons as much as I love Tesla and I'm the world's biggest fanboy, like I've been disappointed and I'm less confident that they will solve the full self-driving thing soon. And I think Elon Musk is actually agreeing with me because if you look at his historical comments, it used to be like, oh, it's always going to come in a year, but it's going to be 10 times safer than a human. Um, that's what we need to convince regulators. I'm 100% sure we'll get there. Now it seems like he's saying he's 99% sure and they'll be two to three times safer than a human driver in a year. So I don't know if this is Elon on if I'm reading wrong, getting the quotes wrong, but my personal opinion is this is such a hard thing to accomplish. And that's why I'm so interested about this price increase. And it kind of caught me by surprise because Tesla hasn't increased the price of FSD for a while. Um, and I thought that was because it was taking them a while to improve the software to justify a price increase. But now them raising the price tells you a lot about what Tesla's thinking. They're seeing all the data. I have none of the data. The data might be saying more and more people are using FSD every day. It's getting better. We're expanding the beta. The take rate at $10,000 because people see the values extremely high so we have room supply and demand to raise the price I actually think this is a genius idea for tesla as well in some ways because they raise the price they keep it exclusive um 
you know, only, you know, 10 or 20 or 30% of customers are buying FSD and those customers are power users of Tesla. They love the brand. They're giving it the benefit of the doubt. They understand it's beta. If you give FSD beta to everyone, I think you're going to get these like whiners and complainers like me, I guess, um, using the software. And I just kind of think you want people on your side. Like I've often said, this is the secret sauce of why I believe Tesla will get to self-driving before any other company, because they have this beta program. Um, that they're rolling out and they have thousands of people around the country deploying the software, testing it, training it, giving Tesla data and this amazing flywheel. And so I think Tesla has a, the right strategy. I think, you know, selling this as an option, making money, getting paid for every mile with this extra software op options, the move, expanding it slowly from thousands of people, raising the price to limit adoption, all the right move. But my gut instinct is, is this feature complete by within a year? What Elon's saying, maybe by the end of 2022, by the end of 2023, no. And so, um, I don't know, as an investor, I've kind of, this, is, this might be my hottest take in the video. I've taken, I put zero value on Tesla's um, increasing software margin from FSD because I'm just not sure when it'll come. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it'll come and I wanna be conservative. And I feel like the market could be getting too excited and pricing in billions of dollars of revenue for a product that hasn't even existed. You know, uh, We haven't gone zero to one. Tesla needs to, to do an autonomous ride with somebody, get paid for it, have regulators approve it, collect that revenue. That's the zero to one moment where RoboTaxi happens, right? And you might be like, oh, well, it's too late to get invested once that happens, sure. But I just wanna point out that I think we're about um, if I had to say it like, uh, five, I still genuinely think we're like five years away from a truly approved robo taxi that's generating revenue. And that's my take on the FSD beta program. But anyway, the price is going up right now. So my, my recommendation is if you're watching this and you don't have a Tesla yet, or you're, you're buying a Tesla and you're like, should I get FSD or not? So I think if you believe that they can develop this technology and you, you're betting on the self-driving car, then I think from that angle, it's an incredible investment. If you're a tech nerd who wants to be at the front lines of, of watching history being made of the most ambitious artificial intelligence project in the world, then I think you should get it. If you're a tech person who wants to, to have its car drive itself, navigate on autopilot where it changes lanes on the highway, navigates, I personally don't use that. But if you're a tech power user, you want to use that, that's a great feature. Also, auto park, um, this is to me the most Okay, I think it's showing auto, or now it's showing summon. Auto park to me is the most game changing feature on full self driving because your car will parallel park for you. I can't parallel park at R, so that's one thing. But here's another kind of hot take I have on all of this. Why, the main time I use Tesla's full self driving software is on the freeway for autopilot, but autopilot's included. So I paid ten or $8,000 for FSD. It's gone up to 12,000 since I bought my Model Y, but all of the FSD features other than auto park that I'm using were actually included with autopilot. So I actually kind of think Tesla should just make it, you buy the car with hardware and you have to buy the software package too and autopilot and FSD are wrapped into that and it's all one thing. I don't think FSD should be extra. And here's kind of a critical piece of feedback that I have. And this is like, this is just, I don't want to admit it, but I have to like, I feel like my trust in autopilot on the highway has decreased because my trust in Tesla's full self-driving technology has decreased as I've used FSD and FSD messes up and I constantly correct that in my brain trains my brain to be like, don't trust the Tesla to drive itself. So it's made me less comfortable using autopilot on the highway. Maybe that's just like a weird thing I have to get over, but this is, I don't know. There's just, there's, this is so new, so revolutionary, so ambitious and game changing and nothing like ever before to bring a self-driving car to market. Like the amount of, you know, people, this is the messed up part about it. People are going to get injured. There's going to be crashes. That's inevitable. There's 300 people that die a day on the roads today. That's a system we have to fix. Um, but it's not going to be perfect getting there. And so um, I, I, I also genuinely think if you're a Tesla investor, to me, the biggest risk of Tesla stock is everything's going so well. We're making so much money, but an aggressive rollout of FSD before it's ready um, and the negative headlines that that could cause is, I think, the biggest threat to Tesla right now, honestly, because they're in such good shape that nothing else is stopping them. That's like what I think the biggest risk is. But anyway, these are my thoughts on Tesla's FSD program. Um, I, I'm going to go on a drive tomorrow around urban Seattle. So you can be like, Gally, you were talking BS. We'll see how good version 10.8 is. We'll do the monorail test. We'll, I'll be a little bit more scientific about showing you every time I disengage and what those situations are. Um, and yeah, we'll check out the latest version. Um, but subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to bring you the most honest news I can about this Tesla FSD program because I think there's so much excitement. There's so much hype. But it's also like you got to temper that hype back with just how hard this is and how long it's going to take to actually happen. Um, but at the end of the day, 
If Tesla's raising the price, that means their confidence in this program and the value that they think they're giving to consumers is increasing. Um, anyway, this is HyperChange. Oh, actually one more thing about this. You can get FSD subscription for 199. Unclear if that price will change. This could be a system where they're getting people to sort of uh, buy into the subscription service, which if you think about it, is the holy grail of RoboTaxi. You pay one price a month to get access to rides on a car, um, which has full self-driving software, which has insurance rolled into it. That's the future where Tesla's going. Maybe they're trying to push people to subscription. That's what this is all about. But there you go, folks. Check it out. Elon Musk raising the price of FSD, announcing on Twitter, Friday afternoon news. Hope you all have an ep epic weekend. See you next time. Peace.